friends, today we're talking about communion. Who knows what that means? Raise your hands. Wait, I can't see you. Let's start with what it is. Well, typically it's a piece of bread and grape juice or wine. What do we do with it? Well, we eat it only after this amazing thing happens. Your minister gets everything ready and sets the table. And when it's time to serve communion, they say a prayer and ask God to turn the bread and cup into the body of Jesus. No, not literally. But we do believe that when the Holy Spirit enters the room and the bread and wine, that it takes on this amazing power to bring us closer to Jesus. So why do we do this? Well, we do it to remember all the amazing things Jesus taught, to honor and respect his life, and to give thanks for the promises he left with us. Every time we share a meal as a community, whether it's communion or a large meal, we model it after the last meal Jesus had with his friends.